Let's meet our first possible fooler. I'm a comedian and a magician from Columbus, Ohio. When I was 19, I worked at a vaudeville variety theater as a juggler, and I went to Humber College. I have a degree in comedy writing and performance. I think I'm the only one on the show that can academically prove that I'm hilarious. I wanted to prepare myself as best I could for what the show is, so I printed off pictures of Penn and Teller, and then I set up cameras, and I played audio from some old shows that they've done so that Penn's voice wouldn't spook me. You fooled us. When I first created this trick, it didn't see the light of day for five years. Every time I do it, it's always, I don't know if this is gonna work. It's a huge challenge for me. I have been told that this is one of the more difficult card tricks that's ever been presented. I am terrified to be here. <laughs> this is, oh man, this is great. Uh, everyone, please join me in giving a giant round of peer pressure to Allison Hannigan as she joins me at the table. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Sit right there for me. Oh, this is great. So tonight I'm going to teach you how to steal money, specifically from those two. Are you on board? Sure. Dope. <laughs> We're going to do that by playing a, a little game. Have you ever played three card money before? Uh, no. It's a brilliant game, tremendous. Okay. You're gonna love it. It uses two black sevens mm -hmm. and a red queen. Okay. The idea is that the cards go face down, then they get mixed up, and then people bet money to figure out if they can see which one is the queen. Actually, were you following? Could yes. You, which one's the queen? The middle one. The middle one. Ha. That's an excellent guess. You're natural. Well, you were slow, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so the trouble with this game is that I keep saying it in quotes, because it's actually more of a scam or a con, like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> the magicians have studied this game for years, so they understand all the little fiddly bits that transform it from a simple game into a crime. So if you wanted to use this to rip off magicians like Penn and Teller, you would play Three Card Monty, but you would play it... with invisible cards. So, Allison, you've got two black sevens. Are you... Okay. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. You got a red queen. Mm. You mix them up, and you are never going to learn anything if I do it all for you. Get in there and mix up those cards. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I did the sound effects, so it felt like it was real. That was totes perf. <laughs> okay. So, Allison, what I'd like you to do now Bet the boys $20 they can't find the queen. <laughs> hey, guys, um, I bet you 20 of his dollars that you can't find the queen. Do, do you not have $20? No, <laughs> well, it's not on me. That's okay. I, I came prepared. Oh, thanks. I'll, I'll bankroll you for round one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here's the deal. I, Penn and Teller are going to have to make a decision in just a moment. What I'd like you to do is take this bill, and whenever they make a decision, place it uh, uh, wherever they say, on position one, two, or three. Go ahead and take the bill. Okay. Excellent. Penn, tell her which one's the queen. The middle one. Middle one? All right. Go ahead and place it down. Yeah, nice job. <laughs> Still the sound effects. <laughs> They're correct. Wow. Excellent guess. <laughs> so Allison, who gets the 20? Well, uh, you just lost me $20. Oh, sorry. That's I do that. <laughs> don't. Don't. Everything is going according to plan, okay. right? What you just did is called setting the hook. Oh. Right? They won a little bit of money, now they're going to want to win a little bit more, right? So for round two, all we're going to do is switch the two black sevens. Go ahead, get in there and switch the two black sevens. You are crushing this. <laughs> all right, Allison, this time raise the stakes a bit. Bet them $50 they can't find the queen. Guys, $50 of his money that you can't find the queen. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and Ooh. yeah, I'll stay course here for round two. Sound good? All right. Sounds good to me. Same deal as before. They have to make a decision. Position one, two, or three, wherever they say. Please place the bill. And tell me, which card should be the queen? Well, uh, I think it's the one on the left. Uh, his left. My left. Eric's left. Over there. Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay. Gotcha. Now, a lot of people were rooting for the first one. A lot of people here thought it was in the center. I know some people may have thought it's not the queen. It's a black seven. Unfortunately for Penn, he placed the bet here. You would have placed the bet here, because that is where the queen is. Oh. Mm. 
Penn, I, I know you would have preferred this outcome, but in each life, a little rain must fall. I... <laughs> good news. Good news, right? Uh, we're up 30 bucks. That's great. And they're mad at you because you cheated them. Oh, sorry, guys. We're going to go for round three now, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to take the third card and put it right there, right? But when you do so, you put it down very aggressively so that it ends up with a bend in the corner. You're not going to say anything, just let them see it. The pros call this throwing a lug. You turn the other card face down, there's only two moves left, and I'm going to make them for you, okay? Very high end sleight of hand. Mm. And we're gonna go for all the cash. Oh boy. Bet them a hundred dollars they can't find the queen. He says he has a hundred dollars to bet you guys. The queen. Come on. Woo! I'm out. Oh, he doesn't have it. Are you sure you don't have any of that Buffy money laying around? Oh. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go to my stash. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It's handy in Vegas. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, $100. Ooh. Yeah. Big spender. This time, uh, don't bother placing the cash on any of the cards. Just keep an eye on it because we might have to run. Okay. Uh, while, while Penn and Teller were focused on the cash there, Allison got in and she switched it. So now the queen is sitting right here next to my left hand. Stellar work, Allison. Nice job. Penn, Teller, last round. Which one's the queen? I would say the one on your right. And corner works every time. Gentlemen, that right there is the red queen. Oh. These are the two black sevens. Oh. And that's the invisible three card Monty. think when they meet you? Like, what do they think you do? Some people think I'm a comedian. Other people think I'm a magician. Uh, I'm just happy when they hire me and that their check's clear. So, <laughs> that's it. And you're a comedy writer as well. Yeah, uh, comedy and magic are kind of weird, though, because comedy, uh, I think there's a great magician who said something about how comedy is uh, fundamentally about telling a truth and magic is about fundamentally about telling a lie. And so they don't really work well together. So it's, it's really a delicate balance to try and figure out you know, how to make things funny and magical. Yeah, well, I think you've done a really good job at oh, that. Thank you very much. All right, well, let's see what Penn and Teller thought. No. Penn, Teller! You know, uh, you're really funny, and it's a really different style. It's a really nice different style, seeing that, uh, you know, taking a, uh, a gambling thing, the premise, then just taking it to another place. And I, I loved you uh, pulling the uh, money out of your beard. Wicked good. What's the use of having an ironic beard if you can't have an ironic magic trick to go with it, right? <laughs> and uh, the choreography is just perfect. Uh, all, the, all the moves are just clean and wonderful and timed perfectly. Nothing's even slightly awkward. But I want to do kind of a non sequitur here. You seem very healthy. You, are you a, you're a healthy guy? Yeah, I, I, I've been to a gym once or thrice. Any, uh, <laughs> any medical work done? Like, I was wondering if the, maybe Dr. Leonard Green gave any laparoscopic surgery, any of that go on? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm laterally aware of the idea that you're trying to snap out there. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you got, you know, got you? A lot of times we talk in code. It's not often people talk back to us in code. <laughs> That's really great. That's Thank really you. great. You, you, uh, you, you get, get an idea of the 411? I'm laying on you there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm done. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so clearly they know, and you made Penn to laugh very loudly. <laughs> That's really all I wanted. So. Awesome. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you. Eric Tate, everyone. Thanks very much. We got to take a break, but we have more foolers on the way, including our two favorite fools, Penn and Teller. Stick around.